I feel like Watchmen is, is such a thing unto itself um, that it doesn't uh, it doesn't really mix with with anything else. It's the you know it's the dash of jalapeno that you put in anything where people go like <laughs> I taste that. Sure, but not in the comic book sense of it all. Like there are cartoons that were just huge for me that were. Um, I didn't even realize they were comic books until <laughs> later on <laughs> in life. Um, but I've always wanted to play superhero. You know, I think that that's just most kids, even if they say they're not into it, there's at least one superhero that you dug, you know, whether it was the Hulk or Wonder Woman, you know. Um, so, yes, a fan in that regard, absolutely. I was not into comic books and, and I had gotten Aquaman and so that's when that, that was my introduction into comics and, and I was fighting with a friend I said, I don't like comics, I don't like comics. He said, read Watchmen, it's, 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 it's not a comic, it's, it's different, it's called a graphic novel. So I read half and that's, that's when I got familiar with it and um, then when I came on board to, to do the job, that's when I started to really turn the pages and to, uh, to appreciate it more. I started to read the, the graphic novel, I didn't have time to read very much of it before we started shooting. But from what Damon told me and from the fabulous script that he handed me, it, I was, it, was, uh, it was more than enough. But yes, I've been working my way through the book. Well, Damon in our first meeting did explain the entire story of Watchmen to me and that was a lot to, to try to digest. But I, I wanted to do what Damon was doing and, and which is to, to take a fresh uh, perspective mm -hmm. on 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 this, and it's an, an outrageous world that he's created, and mm. there's a lot of wonderful costumed characters and wonderful set pieces. But that's really just a, mm. a very clever and entertaining mm. Trojan horse to deliver these other big ideas and conversations mm -hmm. that uh, hopefully people will have as they as yeah. they watch the show. I think he's very clever too create another reality so we can do what we want there and people can get the same points. Well, I have three sons, so I knew the graphic novel already. Uh, and um, so it was a situation in which uh, I was very excited to read Damon's script and to learn that I was going to get to play a new character in this universe. And so um, I guess what I learned from the graphic novel is uh, an aesthetic of extremes, not to be afraid of bold choices, and the writing certainly led in that direction, and um, the original comic utterly supported it. There is no way to anticipate what to expect from a world like this, you know, like, I was not familiar with the comic book, but when I read the script, I was like, whoa! I've never seen anything like this, and of course, this is perfect. This is the reason why the universe wanted to hold me out. Mm -hmm. Wanted to, I'm gonna save you, Regina. Mm -hmm. You are gonna play that hero one day, right. but I need to bring you and Damon together. The technology to uh, show myself as the smartest man of the world, I don't not sure that he is. I think anybody who thinks he is is probably not the smartest man in the world. He's certainly pretty bright and has a pretty wide vision of, of the world and of the future. But when we find him in television series, he has his wings fairly seriously clipped. Rather like an American president who is no longer president. Uh, he doesn't have a great function, but he's trying to get his life back and we will see how he does. Well for my character Lady True, she's so calculated and everything she does is premeditated and I felt like I had to approach my character in that way as well so I asked Damon for everything. I wanted to know her backstory and that was something that he actually shared with me on our very first meeting which I'm grateful for but it was so much abstract information you know so it wasn't until I got to read the scripts and actually see the words on the page that things started to really settle and click in for me. I think it's impossible to shut down the noise. Um, I, I do see myself as a fan first and foremost and I'm just a fan who gets to write fan fiction. Mm -hmm. um, 
and uh, I, I worry all the time about screwing it up, but I think that that worry is one of the things that drives me. The beautiful thing about fan culture is that they're ultimately protective. They all love watching it. I hope they all feel like nothing that I can do here can possibly screw up the thing that they all love. It's there, it's, it's preserved in amber, it's a beautiful masterwork of, of 12 issues. But I felt compelled to take the story and run with it, explore and find out what its limitations were. I know that we've probably made something that not everybody is going to love. It's kind of impossible to do that, I think, if we were uh, writing from a place of fear. Um, we wouldn't have done anything interesting. And whether you love it or you hate it, I definitely think it's interesting. I get a chance to play him in 105 years old, but he still had that flamboyant, just a kind of tongue-in-cheek kind of character, which is how he caught all those people. You know, we played the different characters. It's a pleasure. It was a pleasure to play Bass Reeves. But of course, I didn't know what they were doing. I knew there was perhaps somewhere else, something else happening. Um, no, I just lived my world and, and tried to deal with my environment. And as a audience, as an actor, I was very interested to see how the two stories would rub up against each other. Um, and I'm still enjoying that quality. It caused me, actually, and this is somewhat contrapuntal, because you'd think that if you take the face away and you have only the voice and the body, then you need to compensate by doing more. Uh, it made me feel that I was empowered in such a way because uh, so much was concealed and it amplified the mystery uh, of my character that I actually suddenly had to do less. Uh, and so it was more a process, um, once I put the mask on, of further restraint. Uh, and, and that really interested me as an actor and surprised me. Um, and uh, I think I hope, anyway, is the right character to go, uh, right way to go with the character Damon wrote. It's huge fun playing a character who has both seriousness and humor, um, as we all do, really. Characters are rarely written with that sort of, with all those different levels, and, and when you get a chance to play one, it's, it gives you a lot of fun. It's superheroes and mass vigilantes who are very much three dimensional human beings with lots of flaws. I think ultimately this is a humanist show. As much as it's about mask vigilantes uh, and it has the superhero ethos, I think ultimately it really is uh, a character-driven drama that's full of action, uh, is often extremely funny, uh, that's never predictable. It's a show that really wants to have it all, and I think it does. Yeah, no, it does, and some of it's heartbreaking too, but, but there's still humor as well, so it's good. We say with the very first frame, this is not like anything you've seen before, and you think you're gonna see a comic book movie, but we're starting with a black and white silent film. So it's saying scratch all expectations or assumptions and hold on and watch. You did take your mask off to eat, didn't you? Yes, I did. Okay, um, good, good. I like, I, I, I love all the hokum on the show, uh, just the underpinnings of the absurdist reality of it, um, that uh, this irradiated character named Dr. Manhattan won the Vietnam War for America, and Nixon remained president, uh, and uh, you have an owl ship and, and uh, uh, portals uh, uh, and squids dropping all over the place. And whenever <laughs> the show uh, tries to explain the physics of the reality, I just crack up because I live for that kind of hokum. And Robert Redford is the president. Yeah. <laughs> what more could you ask for?